In this project today, we have these two files, project A and project B, and four images, but we will use forest one, forest two, and forest three to insert them in two different projects, but in one without links, embedded, embedded pictures, images, and in project B with links. So let's uh, begin with project A. We have this project, one page of text, and we want to insert uh, three images. Let's go to the place where we have images. So we want forest one. Let's make uh, let's make it half of the screen. Let's arrange a little bit the image to look much better. Let's insert first uh, all the images, and after that we will arrange a little bit um, the images in the middle of the text. And let's insert from here forest free. Okay, let's make it half of the screen. Let's move it here. And now let's go to properties and let's change the wrap, the spacing to one uh, around the image. Let's clone the formatting of this to this one and let's clone this image properties to this one. Okay. So now let's move uh, and the text to look much better. Okay, so we have the text, we have the images here. We finish this project, project A. Let's close it and let's see the size of the file. So 400 kilobytes. 400 kilobytes, okay? So one page, three images, okay? We have three images and two pages and four kilobytes, 400. Now let's begin project B with links. The difference is when we insert first one, we check here in the bottom, insert as link, okay? We have to be careful to select here insert as link and here we have a warning uh, the file we choose will not be stored along with your document but only reference as a link so we have just a link here in the document not the image this is dangerous if you move or rename the file do you want to embed the graphic instead so if i click embed it's project a what we did before. We don't want that. We want to keep the link. Okay. So in this case, we want to have in this document just links to the uh, images we want. Let's uh, change the properties to one like before. Um, as design, you can't see any difference. Okay. I check that. I check keep the link. Everything look very similar, like in project A. Let's copy the format. Let's clone here. Let's insert another page, the image. Um, by mistake, I didn't insert it as link. I was very in a hurry. And this uh, image now it's not a link. It's embedded okay let's arrange a little bit the um, text and images mm, okay let's make this image a little bit smaller and let's save it and let's see the size of the file. So first, the first project is 400 kilobytes, and this is 200, it's too much. For our linked uh, images in a document is too much. So let's check again the last one, 
I told you was not linked was embedded. So now let's insert again as link. Let's clone the formatting from here and let's save it again. Now let's see the size. So 30 kilobytes, 30 kilobytes. So 10 times smaller than this project A. Okay, so 10, more than 10 times smaller because we don't have images in the document we have just links to that um, image. So if I'm moving files from here, so now they are linked together, first one with that image. If I'm moving um, in a new folder, I'm creating a new folder here named images, and I'm moving all the images over there, and I'm opening now project A with embedded images, we see no difference because the images are here in the document and the size is 400 because of this. But here we don't have the images because there was a link and the link is not okay now because I moved the, um, the images from the original location. So in this case, we should keep um, the connection between files and images to be the same. Now I can uh, edit here. The new location is images and first one, and the same for every um, okay for every image here because the image are not in test one, are in test one and then in images. So if I'm copying, for example, this project, um, I'm copying this project with bad links. Uh, let's create a new folder named, I don't know, new folder. Let's paste it. So here the links are not Okay, because the images are inside the folder and uh, the link was with images outside. Let's correct that. Let's correct every image uh, address here. So address is new folder, I created a new folder. And in the new folder, I have a folder named images and there I have forest one image. And the same thing, I should do for every pictures here because I move the images from the folder to a new folder named images. Let's do the same here. And now everything looks fine. Now, if I want the project to stay okay, like is now, I'm copying everything and in the same way, I'm moving in another folder or to email or I don't know. And if I'm opening now, everything is okay. Because uh, I told the images are in a folder named images and they are, uh, the pictures are there. The images are in that folder. So everything is okay now. So let's resume what we learned today. Uh, we learn about embedded picture and we learn about linked pictures. What are the advantages? Uh, we can see the difference between in size. So we have 30 uh, kilobytes here because the images are not included uh, in the picture in the um, in the file. Okay. So this is just a link you can see here. It's a link to the images. So the size is very uh, small. And another advantage is, for example, if I want now to uh, edit a picture, I don't need to delete that. I can open the picture with um, software, editing software for pictures like this. I can make some adjustment to the image. 
I'm not a designer, so I will just move something from here. Let's save it. So now if I am closing this document and opening again, the image who was linked was updated. Okay, so this is an advantage of using linked document. It's smaller as a document and you could edit this image with another software, with another software and you don't need to edit the LibreOffice document to arrange the text another time and so on. So this document, this image will stay here. We don't have to change anything here just to edit the file as we want and will be replaced. As I said, another difference was in size. This one is 400 and the second project with links is 30 um, uh, kilobytes. And the disadvantage is you must copy all the project in the same structure. If I have a project and some images in a folder, you could, you should, and you need to copy everything like that and to send to email or paste some something else and paste it there. Thank you.